What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back to my Yunter V series for Fire Mom Heroes and today I'm gonna be talking about Winter Cecilia and these are the topics I'm gonna be discussing in this video and I also want to thank Amino Apps for sponsoring this video. Amino is a collection of many sub-communities of various franchises but of course I'm mainly concerned with Fire Mom Heroes Amino. It's a really great and friendly place where you can talk with other Fire Mom Heroes players chat with them and uh, post your summoning results, post your builds, even ask questions and vote on polls of other people, share your art. But by far my favorite are the quizzes that people make here. You can test your fireman knowledge and also have some fun. So because I like quizzes so much, I've made a really hard quiz myself and a lot of people have been enjoying that. So if you want to download Amino, you can check the link in the description. It is available on both Android and iOS. And now let's begin with our unit review of Winter Cecilia. Time for a lesson. Cecilia is the first free range armor unit that we have got and she's really unique because there's no other colorless armor dagger in the game as of yet. And looking at her stats, her stats are really nicely min-maxed. I mean, it's not really min-maxed to the extent of some of the banner units like someone like Surtur, but still, it's really nice and she has got amazing mixed bulk. Now, even though she's not really all that min-maxed, this can actually be a good thing because even though her speed is really low, this can be helpful in avoiding doubles from both fighter armor units even though she's running weary fighter because she will not lose the speed check against those kinds of slow bullfighter armor units but still some really fast uh, bullfighter armor units like legendary tiki can double her and her balance mix bulk is fantastic with her default dagger she can be a really nice close counter user because of it and her attack is also pretty nice at base 35 and with the help of her skills she can hit decently hard uh, which is definitely not really all that common for a dagger unit her weapon is Goody Boot Plus, and this is a 12 might, uh, pretty much an Owl Tome dagger. So depending on the number of allies within two spaces, she will get uh, that much defense and res buff. And these are in-combat buffs, which is absolutely fantastic. So for example, if she has got three allies within two spaces, then she's going to be getting plus six defense and plus six resistance, which is massive with her already balanced bulk. And if they've got something like Drive Defense or Ward Armor, she can get insanely bulky. And after combat, of course, you get the minus 7 defense to buff and resistance to buff, uh, which is pretty standard. So this weapon is absolutely perfect with Cecilia and her stat line. Her slotty skill is attack respawn, which is really nice with her base attack, which can be nice if you use her in ether raids because there are a lot of range units that are going to be facing. And even in arena assault and in general in a lot of game modes, high resistance can definitely be really useful with this skill. She's got defense ploy uh, as a slotsy skill. I would have really preferred if they gave her armor march because we do not really have any free unit with that skill. And we have a lot of free armor units. But nonetheless, this is a decent skill even though she does debuff uh, defense with her dagger. But still, this is before the combat so it can definitely help her get some one shots. And her resistance is really nice. So she is amazing user of ploys. Her special is Iceberg, which is of course once again really synergetic uh, with her resistance. So overall, Cecilia is a fantastic free to play unit with amazing stat line, with good synergetic base kit, with premium skill like Attack Res Spawn, which is useful if you want to fodder her off. And on top of that, she's unique. And if you look at her stat line, it's actually really close to Christmas Erica, who's a banner unit. So it's a really good thing that we have got a unit like her for free. And she's really versatile being an armor unit. She can do a lot of roles and she can perform really well in a lot of game modes like arena, ether raids and even in general for in-game content. And because Cecilia is such a good teacher, she can actually teach attack respawn to other units. Uh, she does have that skill at 4 star and here are some of the good users of attack respawn. And uh, we have got Sanaki, she's got the attack respawn weapon refined so this goes really well with that. She can use Vantage and even Brazen Attack Res to get really, really bulky and powerful. And uh, Sonaki's best friend, quote unquote, Mikaya, can use uh, Attack Res Bound really well. And Mikaya is fantastic in Ether Raid. She can take care of a lot of the range horse units that we'll face there. And also armor units with her Thawny Tome. So Mikaya is a great recipient of that. And we also have. Um, Sharina here because she does have the bond refine so attack rest bond can definitely help her improve some matchups against dragon units that you're going to be facing in arena 
and the attack is definitely really nice and the triple bonds is really powerful on Sharina. And we also have units like Male Grima who have got a distant counter weapon and being armor units they're gonna be close to their allies so attack risk bond is really nice for units who have got innate distant counter. And attack risk bond can also be used on healers, it's one of the offensive skills that healers have access to but keep in mind that with a physic plus healer uh, a bond skill is not gonna be having the best of synergy so something like restore plus is much better I guess. Uh, which does keep your healer near your allies and you can also use this on alto users like Soren and attack rest bond in general is a really good skill uh, to be used along with attack defense bond secret seal. You can also fodder her off for her dagger but I don't really think it's worth it because she's an amazing user of that because of her mixed bulk and there are not really any other dagger units with a similar stab line to her. I mean you can definitely give that to Halloween Kagero but she has got better attack, she's much better using something like an effective dagger I guess. You can also give this to Dancer Xander because he already comes with close counter but still I think Cecilia is the best user of her dagger and attack respond um, is a better skill in my opinion to fodder her off for. Start praying. Weary Fighter is one of her best lobby budget skills so you can just run that on her, have swap and have something like attack defense bond and as I said before it is really good with attack rest bond and she can be really bulky and also powerful with this budget build and the thing is that this is not really all that good uh, on a tempest trial team if you only have her as a bonus unit because Weary Fighter and her movement will definitely slow you down. Um, the second build I guess is much better for uh, Tempest Trials because it does have Cook Repose and this is another budget build that you can run on her and because of Cook Repose she can easily trigger Iceberg in a single round if she gets doubled which is going to be happening a lot and this is also a pretty decent build for using an Aether Raids uh, because of her high resistance she can easily take on common range threats and you can also run Renewal plus Cook Repose if you want to have that self sufficiency in Tempest Trials. Her third build is a bit more expensive build using Barb Shuriken. Now it does make Moonbow a one turn cooldown special so she can instantly retaliate back with Moonbow um, in the enemy phase and that can be really nice with her high attack with something like defense ploy and attack defense bond and uh, Weary Fighter is really nice for preventing doubles so she can just keep herself safe and also do a lot of damage and this can be a nice build for Aether Raids where you could just smite Cecilia into the range of the enemy and uh, she can just take care of one of the frail horse units and then just tank hits on her own because her bulk is actually pretty good um, and you definitely want to run something like attack smoke or close defense over attack defense bond if you're going to be using smite on her uh, in Aether Raids and this build can also be nice for Aether Raids defense and Barb Shuriken is an amazing dagger on a unit like Cecilia. And moving on to her fourth build, it's also um, a bit more expensive because of requiring close counter but you do get a free 4 star Takumi so that can be done if you really like Cecilia and to be honest Cecilia is one of the best range units to give close counter to and that to a free unit so it does make use of her fantastic build really well and she can retaliate back to melee range units and overall just be a solid tank and her fifth build uses Vengeful Fighter. This is one of the most powerful builds of Cecilia because she can take advantage of her bulk with her dagger and also trigger Glacies in a single round in the enemy phase if she gets doubled which as I said is going to be happening a lot with her speed and Glacies is going to be hitting incredibly hard because she will be able to get the resistance buff with her dagger if you have allies near her and uh, she can just be a really powerful enemy phase unit with this build but it is definitely expensive and her sixth build is a mixed phase build using the standard bullfighter and quick repose combo which you're probably bored by seeing it so much in arena but it does work on these kinds of units and you can use barb shuriken have glacies and then glacies can be triggered in both phases in a single round because of Wolf Fighter and Cook Repost. So she can be a really nice nuke in both phases and that's just something which these armor units can do because of having access to these broken skills. And her 7th build is a player phase build. It uses Starfish Plus from Summer Lind and I think Summer Lind is gonna be on Legendary Banner really soon so you can definitely try to run this build. Now because Bullfighter gives Cecilia a guaranteed follow up attack you can actually make it a consecutive attack with the help of Starfish Plus and it's in build Desperation Effect and if you're gonna be in the range of Desperation you're gonna be in the range of Brazen Attack Res as well. So she's gonna be very very powerful and you can trigger Moonbow while you're in the Desperation range for even more damage so this is a very deadly player phase build for Cecilia. And her 8th build uses one of those seasonal daggers which is effective 
Um, so you can definitely use some kind of Mayogi Dagger. It really depends on your team and what kind of dagger you want to use. You could definitely use Cloud Mayogi, Sky Mayogi, it's really up to you. And you can use the standard Bullfighter Quick Repost build uh, to slay the enemies. And uh, her final build is a Max Investment Arena build. Now, Cecilia can be a really good cheerleader uh, because of having access to ploys, having really nice resistance, and because of Very Fighter, she can easily soften up foes without just killing them for your bonus units, and that's really useful as a cheerleader. This is a blessing. Earth Blessing, in my opinion, is the best one by far for Winter Cecilia because Legendary Tiki is an amazing teammate with her and the defense buff she gives with her Legendary Boost is really useful if you're running close counter. And Tiki's exclusive skill can make Cecilia extremely bulky because she will get the in-combat uh, buff with her Goody Boot Plus if you use that. And Legendary Eye can also be a nice option um, as a teammate with Cecilia and he's definitely a free-to-play option. He can give her the attack boost which is really nice for Rary Fighter builds and also give her the defense tactic buff and Cecilia can check mages for Ike even though Ike has got warding breath and he can run distant defense he's still not the best at taking magical hits and finally Grima can give uh, Cecilia the guidance support but still her speed boost isn't really all that significant to Cecilia an honorable mention definitely goes to Gunthra and her wind blessing the resistance boost is going to be nice for using ploys with Cecilia and uh, Gantra can make really good use of the debuffs which Cecilia can provide. Just as expected. For Cecilia's teammates, as I said, Legendary Tiki is a fantastic one. You can also use Satania with Rest Tactic, Refine, and Defense Tactics like Red Seal. And uh, someone like Drog or just any kind of armor units in general who can provide her with the Ward Armor buff can make her insanely, insanely tanky with her default weapon. So just try to use her on an Armor Emblem team with Ward Armor. She's going to be really good. Um, and you can also have healers on your team to make sure that she's in the Worry Fighter range and she is going to be taking a lot of hits, I assume, if you're going to be running something like Close Counter. So healers can be useful. And as I said before, Gunther is a pretty nice teammate with uh, Cecilia, can use those debuffs really well. And of course, having Armor Mart support can improve Cecilia's movement. And for her counters, you definitely have to watch out for Cecilia. She can be seen in Ether Raids every now and then. And Armor Slayers are also pretty common in Ether Raids and in Arena in general. So definitely have to watch out for them. And uh, Surter, as always. But because of Surter's Steady Sense 4, it's really hard for Cecilia to get these special charges. And he's just so bulky that it can be hard for Cecilia to damage him. Now let's take a look at some of the reasons why you may or may not want to invest into Cecilia with your Heroic Grails. Now, as I said in my builds, Cecilia can be really nice cheerleader for Arena because she can provide deployed debuffs and also debuffs from her dagger and can easily soften up the enemies with a close counter weary fighter build. And she gets a lot out of merges because she can increase her bulk, which is really good with a close counter build. She can be pretty nice for ether raids too because she can just take on the ranged threats and you can even smite her into the enemy range if you're running a close counter build and you can just use her to disengage some kind of force threat and then she can hold on her own with her bulk against multiple enemies. So that can definitely be done if you have got some merges on her. Some reasons why you may not want to invest into her is that we have got a lot of really good free armor units who are much more powerful than her and can score better. For example, Valentine Elliewood can just score much better than Cecilia. And someone like Black Knight um, or Halloween Dorcas are also really powerful, but they can only score two more points than Cecilia. She does score 746 in Arena, and because of the Colorless Infantry Dual skill, you can just give that to any kind of range unit who has got a legendary weapon, and they will score much better than her, like Felicia or Soth, and they'll be just scoring much better than a range armor unit. So, Colorless Infantry Dual, if you do have access to that, you could try to give that to one of those units and save your grails for another unit for your arena core so that can be done and uh, that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did then please be sure to leave a like and share this video with your friends who are trying to build up cecilia and if you haven't already then make sure to subscribe for more fire Emblem heroes content and with that being said i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and have a great day